with gastroparesis because whenever you people say gastroparesis, your brain immediately goes to what? Diabetes. Is the patient diabetic? <laughs> that's it. And most of the time, your mind stops there. Diabetic? Okay, no, that's it. End, end of story. But it shouldn't be, right? Because scleroderma can also cause gastroparesis. What else can cause gastroparesis? Medications can do. What medication? Drugs we like to put patients on all the time when they come with pain. Opioids, which we shouldn't do. Opioids can actually cause gastroparesis when used in the long run. Viral infections can actually cause gastroparesis. Okay, so you can have gastroparesis. How do you treat gastroparesis? Most of the time, your one answer you'd always pick is what? Metaclopramide. Metoxone. If you're going to use metoclopramide, what should you worry about on those patients? QT prolongation, yes, but what else? It's very similar to your typical antipsychotics, right? So, extra pyramidal side effects. What are the extra pyramidal symptoms you should know about? What is the first one that will happen in your neck? It's going to get caught up like this. What is that going to cause? Acute dystonia, torticollis. And then what do you get? Akathisia. Akathisia, mostly paresthesia, restlessness. And then what else do you get? What's the next one? Akinesia, Parkinson-like features. And lastly, you're going to be? Tardive dyskinesia, which is hands and lip smacking. Okay, they'll have movements like the lip smacking like this and hands are going to be moving like this. So when you have a patient on metoclopramide, chronically you want to worry about extra pyramidal side effect. Now acutely, what can you treat them with? Erythromycin. Erythromycin. Why? It's an antibody. Why are we using an antibiotic to treat patient with gastroparesis? It can increase gastric How? Very good. It does increase gastric motility, but how? If you don't know the full story, it doesn't mean anything, right? Anymore in life, you have to know the whole thing. So, it stimulates motilin receptors. Oh, yes. Macrolide stimulates motilin receptors and as a result increases gastric motility and so much so it can cause diarrhea too. So that's why. Okay, from a GI point of view, you can have gastroparesis.